Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. Now in today's video we're looking at Arcade Attack. Now on the workshop this looked absolutely incredible and it shouldn't even be possible to do this type of thing in Space Engineers. But anyway, it's a custom world where you'll spawn into this little room with a med bay. If I turn off my lights, it gets very dark in here, so I'll need to keep them on for the moment. You'll have this little sign over here which will suggest some settings you use, so I highly suggest you follow them, because if a developer says you need to do this, then it's going to be very, very useful to follow it. So as we come through this little corridor, we get into this little room over here with some more signs with instructions on. So we have here some controls. So up, left, down and right, mouse one to fire and pressing number two on your keyboard will fire blade. You enter the C and take remote control of a fighter and you do not press space or C, turn off your dampeners or shoot at bombs, missiles or collide with anything. This right here is basically like an old fashioned arcade game, much like Zero Wings was for the Sega Mega Drive. So you don't shoot any bombs or missiles, you have to actively avoid them and you try not to crash into anything because that would mean you would die in the traditional sense. So it's much like this sky course where you have to basically honour yourself with what you do. So over here is a chair and this opens up. Now it did take a little bit of, should we say, debugging to get this to work correctly because it's a lot of mods here and they don't seem to play well with each other. But once you get it working, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. But this is about as far as I've got in testing. So if I press I, come to remote access and take control of a fighter, here is my fighter, there he is, moving across here very slowly, and now we cross the green line. Now we've got some funky music going on. See what I mean? This is absolutely insane what it's doing. Absolutely insane. Luckily they're in the background. So we've got Mighty Brazette. Mighty, you are an absolute genius if you ever watch this. This is absolutely incredible. God knows how this was possible or how you even made this. But this is just ingenious. It's an old fashioned arcade game called Arcade Attack, there we go. We even got the enemies coming in, it's so much like the Zero Wings type games where you see the enemies in the background and then later on they come to the front. So we've got Gallium Controls, so we've got Group 1. Hopefully we'll be able to attack them soon. Because the Gallium Guns are not working yet. He wants us to go up here. There we go, the Machine Guns are now active. With the music changed. This music is amazing. I'm just hoping that it's not copyrighted because this visual will get struck down otherwise. Just look at this. I know it's making use of the hover rails to move me along, which is the camera, but holy crap is this amazing. It's it's insane. It's I'm lost for words. I really am. I know it's using the energy shields, which I have featured on this channel before, which is probably why I'm not taking damage with the ship itself. Look at that! So cool! Then we can attack this. There's the energy shields, you can see me fighting it there. The ship is very floaty, but there's not much I can do about that. But that's just, it's just insane! This really, really deserves like a prize or something. Let's just destroy that and come across to here. Up we come. The music, the sound effects. Oh, I hate these things. Oh, the bane of my existence is bloody zero wings. Going across there. There's one of those things. If you see there on the little yellow thing on my ship, I might have to zoom that in. That is my shield. Oh, here comes the missiles. Got to dodge these. Now the game is lagging a little bit. There's not much I can do about that. The developer himself said that it'll be a little bit iffy on the frame rate. But look, wow, so good. <laughs> look at this. Electro Blades number two. 
I take it it will activate once I pass through these things. Electro Blade! Wow! Look at that! That is amazing! It's just the background as well! It's, it's like a bloody rave going on in the background! Oh, I see, Electro Shield! It allows you to pass through these things without getting hurt! Oh my god! Oh, look at it! Look at it! Fire! Oh, shit! They were actually damaging me. That wasn't good. That was that was not good. I just thought it was for show, but I was actually being damaged. So my shield is all gone. I don't know how to get my shield back, so I might have to just rely on number two in order to do it. Oh, he's gonna kill me! Oh, that's it! I am out of here! I have died! Bleh. My god! Mighty! Oh. Incredible! Absolutely incredible! It's just... Everything about this is mind-boggling. So what I'm not going to do is complete it. I'm not going to go all the way to the end. You should very much, if you're watching this, download this and try it yourself. What I am going to say is the... Small Ship Mega Mod Pack DX11 doesn't seem to work properly. It seems to have critical errors. However, if you use the Steam Workshop and search for the Small Ship Mega Mod Pack without refineries, that mod pack works. So it, I think it's like without production blocks. Perhaps I'll cut to it on the actual screen and leave it in the description below. But if you use that mod pack over the one suggested by the developer of this mod, then it will function. But yeah, this is Arcade Attack, something that is absolutely should not be possible in Space Engineers. The amount of time and dedication gone into this is beyond insane. So yeah, hats off to you, developer. Absolutely incredible. So it'll be in the description below if you want to try it yourself. I highly recommend you do, because this is just mind-boggling and I shall be back with another Space Engineers video some point soon. Bye bye.